<laughs> and the cat, by the way, escapes from this evil corporate office. What yeah, I love in the about scuffle. this, yeah, the scuffle happens, and the cat is just like, "Oh, this is stupid," and just <laughs> and just runs out of the office. <laughs> See you, bozos. <laughs> He's like, "Oh, well, this story is really imploding on itself. I'm getting out of here." And what I love is we we after the you see the shot of the pinky we go back to the cat and the cat has gone downtown hopped on a a ferry yes and manages to take itself from the island of Manhattan down to Atlantic City people who don't know geographically what's going on here that's like a three hour drive in a car this cat manages to find its way all the way down to the boardwalk that's okay it. it's no problem and what I love about this. <laughs> Because this is like a real hobo kitty here because <laughs> this, he's riding the backs, backs of trucks and then now he's down. He actually hangs out with actual hobos under a, under the docks at Atlantic City and he eats part of a hot dog. Oh, that's and right. And he's like, he's, having, he's got like the real dirt hobo life. How the fuck are you going to get a cat to eat a hot dog? Like, I just, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's got to yeah. take some time. What? Well, you can't just put a, a hot dog down like, here, you can't eat this hot dog. They're very I think particular. it's like that and their, how their teeth work. I mean, they're going to, it's, it would probably take a little while. Do you think it was a prop hot dog made out of cat food and they just shaped it into a hot Stephen dog? Stephen King's oh. cat hot dog. They, they are interested in something. <laughs> I'm sorry. Cat hot dog just tickled me the right way. Is that on Audible? <laughs> Yeah, it's read by Louis Anderson. <laughs> oh, my God, these cat hot dogs. They're mostly for cats, but I love them. Louis, that's not in the book. You have to stick to the text. <laughs> I'm just thinking about food. It's really hard for me to read when I'm thinking about cat hot dogs. <laughs> you guys see me fall off that diving board or what? <laughs> that was embarrassing. You know what will fix the hole in my heart? A cat hot dog. <laughs> Oh, God. I don't even know. Oh, God. <laughs> it's just cat cat food molded into a hot dog. Normally, I just eat regular shaped cat food, but sometimes it's more fun to shape a cat food dish into something else, like a hot dog. Cat hot dog. Get this guy a job on the Food Network. <laughs> Fucking 10-time chop champion, Louis You ever Anderson. have cat food duck larange? Ooh, it's delicious. So, so the cat leaves the hobo camp. <laughs> and thus the second story begins. Uh, we're seeing some Atlantic City fat cat, not played by Alan King. And also, this Alan King's really good in the first one. This guy's good in the second, but I kind of wanted a bigger heavy. I feel like this was kind of went to a couple of people and it came down to this guy. I would have liked a supernatural Alan King in all different scenarios. <laughs> that would have been pretty good. Like he's the devil or something. Oh, yeah. yeah he like was just the devil. By the way, did someone say fat cat? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That was, so, a, that was a delayed joke. So Who's going to help me eat all this cat food? <laughs> I guess I should eat. <laughs> no, we have to eat in this cafeteria. <laughs> Come on. We just, we move on to this third. That's what I really hate about this movie is that the thread of this cat is just so barely there. Like you think about something great like Creep Show, where yep. they use the comic book yeah. as the way to as the way to link all the things together. And you know that's the other thing. With Creep Show, you know when Ted Danson turns back into a fucking comic panel. That part of the movie is over yep. with. There's no real way to distinguish what's going on because it's not like the cat only comes in when the cat's going to take you into the next story. The cat comes and goes whenever he pleases like a real fucking cat. God, I hate cats. Got a little Louis Anderson there. Yeah. I hate cats so much. I love their food. I love their food, but I hate them. Is it okay if I buy cat food, but I don't have a cat? <laughs> Do I have to fess up to that at the grocery store? Or what? No, I'm just no, been you don't. on dry cat food, <laughs> watching Wipeout. <laughs> Sometimes the ones that are shaped like fish don't really taste like fish. It's really weird, guys. Wipeout. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Louie, could you get back to hosting the Family Feud, <laughs> which is why we're here? <laughs> I would love 
him going on like a long 40 minute tirade just while the feud cameras are rolling about anything it could be about eating cat food how he hates his life this really dramatic pete paul thomas anderson magnolia music (laughs) some kid pisses himself (laughs) while louis anderson just loses his grip on the feud and that's why tomorrow morning i'm going to kill myself (laughs) it's something like what do people buy at the grocery store (laughs) and there's like uh cat food (laughs) Oh no! It just sets him <laughs> down a dark tunnel. He starts talking about cat dogs. <laughs> He's fucking committed. And some like executive producer at the back of the Family Feud studio is like, "What the fuck did I tell you? We can't put cat related shit on this show anymore." <laughs> you know, my girlfriend was like, "Louis, you should have a turkey dog. It's a lot better for you." But I thought even better, cat food dogs. <laughs> It's better than turkey. It's leaner than turkey meat. Uh, and it keeps my coat extra shiny. All right, I think we're going to have to bottle that till we find out where, where he lives. And we could <laughs> do an episode of our TV show. So this third this segment. Cat thumbs a ride to Wilmington, North Carolina. Again, no Maine. Look, I feel like the guy's like, you want to go to Maine? And the cat's like, no. Are you sure? That's where I was going, but you're such a magical talking cat, I'll take you anywhere. Oh, you want to go where they filmed Silver Bullet? <laughs> oh, all right. No help there, but I'll, I'll keep driving. <laughs> so we go down to North Carolina where we meet Drew Barrymore and her family. Uh, cons- she, she's been supernaturally beckoning this cat. Throughout, and there's another one in the second one. Like It's just like this voice of this weird cat's head, like, Please help. It's well, getting closer. The cat is walking down some scuzzy Atlantic City street. Yeah. And there's like a, a, a storefront that's got a bunch of TVs like yeah. displayed. Oh, that's right. And on the show, it's like the cat imagines a show that stars Drew Barrymore and another cat. And she's like, now, nah, Mr. Princess, get in your high chair. And then she like turns to the camera and then it's supposed to be like looking right at the cat. And she's like. No one can help me but you. You better get here fast. He's getting closer. Anyway, Mr. Cat, this tea party. I was like, this is so fucking stupid. This First you were the ghost in a mannequin. Now you're on a hallucinatory television show. Explanation. Cat yeah. dementia. <laughs> <laughs> that, it adds up. Yeah. Cat ate too many hot dogs, that's for sure. Cats should not eat pork. <laughs> that's rule number one. I've been saying that for years. <laughs> Could have been a kosher, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> All beef. So, you know, this cat finally makes it to Drew Barrymore's house. And she's like, oh, my God, it's a cat. I've always wanted a cat. 